Welcome back to the cast, another episode of Crypto Millionaire Journey. And uh, today we're going to be talking about BitPay, man. Uh, a lot of you guys probably are wondering if you do have Bitcoin and you're trying to figure out, you know, where are some good ways to use it. Uh, check into BitPay. Um, they have a nice Visa debit card. At first, I was using um, Coinbase's shift card primarily, and then they decided to retract their program. So now I'm strictly BitPay, um, obviously, until I receive my Monaco card, which... Uh, don't get me wrong, big fan of BitPay. Like everything they do with their de uh, with their debit card and everything like that, it makes it a lot easier as far as the whole transition of living off crypto. Um, but the Monaco card, I'm sorry, <laughs> it has some pretty dope features, and I'll obviously do an episode about that as well. But um, yeah, we're just gonna discuss BitPay. Um, the nice features. I'll probably compare it to the Shift card since you know that was the most recent card that I was using as far as Bitcoin goes. And um, we'll talk about it as a business side as well. Um, those of you that might be merchants or vendors, uh, you're actually allowed to incorporate BitPay into your business. That way you can start accepting Bitcoin or just crypto in general. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for today's show. So I must say, if you have Bitcoin, you must look into BitPay. Uh, BitPay is a debit card visa. That allows you to load your Bitcoin and spend it like you would any other uh, debit card um, anywhere Visa accepted. So for me, um, I basically use this kind of anywhere. Um, I use it to pay my gas. Uh, I use it to pay my bills. Um, use it for food. Um, I mean, basically everything, man. <laughs> and... A lot of people still think, you know, Bitcoin still not really, I would say, like more of a utility yet, considering that, you know, a lot of people in places are not accepting it. Um, this is the best way to bypass all that um, by just simply getting this card. And the card, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it only costs, at least right now, uh, I believe $10. Um, and the reason why I say right now is because when I had... Uh, First got into Shift debit card for Bitcoin, which came from Coinbase. Um, like I said, they unfortunately ended their program, which kind of sucks. But that was my first debit card. Um, so using Shift, it was you know pretty similar to what BitPay does. Um, BitPay, you obviously would send um, any of your Bitcoins to your BitPay wallet. Um, once it's in the wallet, then from there, you have the opportunity to um, top it up and put it on your card and load it. Uh, so the major differences between like BitPay and Shift, um, the Shift card, when you had, you know, your Bitcoin and your Coinbase account, um, they had it where, you know, you had the app and it was connected to your Coinbase account. So you didn't have to, you know, load or anything like that. So depending on um, whatever Bitcoin price was at that particular time you know that's what's going to be available in your account and then you would be able to use the shift card which was a you know visa debit card that came with a pin just like the BitPay card comes with the pin um you would be able to you know use it just like any other would so that's what i was using i would say i was using the shift card for about what a good hmm, about a good three to four months i would say maybe more um, of course, that was before they decided to, you know, axe the program. And then that's when I decided to just go strictly with BitPay um, until obviously my MCO card comes. And uh, with the BitPay card, you actually are allowed to set up a direct deposit um, if you ch chose to do that. Um, there is like a little, I believe it's like a little fee uh, if you want to do direct deposit. I think it's like five bucks or something like that, which, you know, it's whatever. But um as far as the loading the card goes, um, man, we. So let me go ahead and uh, let me bring up these uh, features real quick. Hold on for one second. Okay, so again with the BitPay card, um, strictly, I would say strictly used for Bitcoin. I mean, you do have the option to get cash um, if you truly desire to get cash. I do get a lot of people asking me like. 
you know, well, if I get this, can I just cash it out? I mean, by all means, if you want to go to ATM, I wouldn't advise that um, just for the fact that, you know, they had that little surcharge that you got to pay. Um, the best way to kind of avoid that fee um, would be basically just to get cash back. Uh, when you go to like a store or whatever, just request cash back, use your pen, and you can get cash um, through your BitPay card from Bitcoin. Yes, cash back through all that. Um, as if you, you know, desire to, if you really need the cash. Um, as far as the um, direct deposit goes, like I was saying, you know, you can um, do ACH, uh, what's it called, debits. So let's say you um, wanted to pay like a bill and you want to use your BitPay like routing number and all that stuff. Um, you do have that option. Again, like I said, you do have to pay five bucks. Um, so totally up to you. Um, but as far as uh, as far as the limits go, um, man, that's this card has way bigger limits uh, compared to the shift card. Um, shift cards limit as far as like the purchase, cash withdrawals, um, were pretty low um, unless you built that up. So when I had my shift card and when I first got it, your uh, max for the day was a rack, um, but if you were using your card consistently and you had a lot of activity on your card, you were able to give them a call and, you know, get that bumped up a little bit. And I was actually able to get bumped up to almost two racks. But again, it was kind of pointless because, you know, I didn't expect them to end the program, which, you know, it's whatever. Got to make adjustments. But uh, with the BitPay card, uh, man, <laughs> so your purchase limits is 10 racks a day. Cash withdrawal limits, 3000 a day. And then it looks like 750 looks like maybe per transaction. Um, then you can load up to 10 racks on it. Um, the max you can have on it is 25 racks. And then as far as a car to car transfer limit, um, it's basically $500 a day. Um, so, and you are able to download the BitPay app. Um, it is available on the App Store, the Google Play Store, uh, Windows 10, and Linux. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> anywhere Visa is accepted, uh, you can use it. And now when it comes to the BitPay business side of things, um, you guys that are, have a place of business or anything like that, it could be online, retail, whatever the case may be, um, you can accept Bitcoin payments on your website. Um, you can send invoices to vendors. Uh, you can accept this Bitcoin on your smartphone, your tablet. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they have like a little POS system that you can buy and um, get that all set up. And then you can accept the Bitcoin and then you can get paid in your currency. So, you know, if it's euros, the pound, the dollar, whatever the case may be, um, you can get your uh, deposits into 38 different countries of those currencies. So, like I said, if you don't plan on using BitPay personally, you want to use it for the business side, um, totally can do that. And you could probably, you know, I would say open up to a different market because um, I think most, I would say most companies or most businesses are probably not accepting Bitcoin at the moment. But I have seen a couple accept it. You can, you know, go on Yelp and see who accepts Bitcoin and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, man, that's about it for BitPay. Um Again, if you guys are using or living off Bitcoin or living off crypto, uh, BitPay is a good debit card to have in your wallet. Again, um, look out for Monaco as well because um, they're starting to uh, they're starting to send out those cards. I believe I believe this month they're gonna start shipping out those cards, and I'll do an episode on Monaco because who. If you, I mean, if you, like I said, if you thought BitPay's features were nice, man, I'm talking about a Bitcoin debit card that, sheesh, you can get cash back. I mean, ugh, the referrals on there. I mean, it's, it's, it's heavy, man. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, man, that's gonna wrap up BitPay.